You know, I have a lot of clients telling me that uh, they're concerned about the market and everything's going to crash and they want to wait for the real estate crash and home prices are crashing, 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 crashing. Are they really? Let's take a look. Oh my God. If you look at this, the real estate market in Kelowna, this is a uh, median house price, central Okanagan, single family residential, has fallen 18% in the last six months, five months. Oh my God, it's crashing. If we take a longer view, because real estate is a long game, going back to 2012, 2012 to 2016 almost, the Kelowna real estate market was appreciating at a healthy pace. You know, a couple percent a year, nothing major, but I'm not going down. It was, it was all right, real estate, that's the way it goes. But then when we look from 2015 to 2018, the real estate market in Kelowna took off. The appreciation rate went through the roof. I mean, we're talking, oh, probably 10% a year. So then after that, well, the market kind of leveled off again and it was going at a healthy rate, kind of ticking up nice, no, 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 all good, long game, real estate not going down. But then in 2020, the market went crazy. Look at this appreciation. Woof! Like, this is when we started talking about, uh, you know, 20% a year appreciations. Like, it was nuts. But then there's still part of the graph missing. November, December 2021, the real estate market went insane. Like, almost straight up. So now when we look at the crash that we're seeing now, if we factor that in, and we look at the full graph, look at that. I mean... We haven't even finished erasing insanity yet. Take a look at this. Even if we had that super strong 10% year-over-year appreciation from 2016, that's where that line would go. Anyway, there's my real estate nugget. Have a good one, Kelowna.